Yo, what up? It's your boy when JJ Stone, aka Black Gritty. What's up, Jason? What's going on? I am back like Nick Castellano swing. Yo! What's good? <laughs> it's opening day. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Gritty Nights. Uh everything's great. It's opening day. Yeah, it's all baseball good. is back. Uh Castellano's got a double. Uh Bohm hit the first home run. I lost my bet on that. <laughs> Everybody bet on Schwar bombs. That was the easy money. Smart bet. I wanted to take Turner, but I would have lost. Luckily, yeah. I'm cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Uh so we lost today. It happens. It happened. First of all, it doesn't count. If you're listening to this, if you're watching this and you're upset, shut up. Yeah, it's game one. It's not not, not only is it game <laughs> one, they never win in Texas. No. And the Fugazi thing about the game was we're up 5-0. And what happened? Uh, fell apart like always? No, they closed the <laughs> dome. I know. They closed the dome. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on. That dome is some bullshit, bro. I kind of feel like you shouldn't be able to do that once the game You starts. shouldn't be able to do that once the game <laughs> starts. Unless it's a dang gum thunderstorm and there's a flood coming. Right. You don't get to close the dome and then turn on the lights. Like the house lights came on. The lighting got different. I don't know what's going on. We we out here like fresh air in Philadelphia. That's we, like the old stories at the Meadowlands when they would open up the doors when kickers were trying to kick game winning field goals to change the wind. Yeah. That's bullshit. I, I'm like, <laughs> what are we doing? Because as soon as they shut that dome, <laughs> oh, my God. The lights switched and flipped for those dudes. And uh, we got robbed. We got hosed, Tommy. <laughs> we got hosed. That, so I, that's first and foremost. Luckily, we won't care. see the Rangers again the whole season after this. Uh, I mean, it's so ridiculous. But we never win there, first of all. The last time we won there was Their like, stadium's ugly. It's trash. It was it, a bad view, too. Like, on TV, I hated it. it. It's just a trash stadium. And again, they closed the dome. That's why we lost the lead. Everybody calm down. And yes... Nola let up some runs. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you should have pulled them out at the beginning. But I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Cause people are in, it's, shut up. I do like the overreaction though. It always makes me laugh because people accuse me of that sometimes, and I would never. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. not today. Yeah, you, there's no need. You, you you have been known to punch air and get your knuckles blistered <laughs> from <laughs> swinging too hard at the oxygen. That's but, all good, man. It happens. Uh, yeah. <laughs> to, today again, it's opening game. It's opening day. They they close the dome on us, and it's not our home opener. If that would have happened at home, I'd have felt a little certain way yeah, about that would it. Suck. I'd have felt some kind of way going up 5-0 and then losing 11 to Going up 5-0 on DeGrom, though, you got to win that game. Oh, yeah. Well, you should win that game. You like should win that win game. Yeah. But again, they closed the dome. I'm going to keep saying it. They closed the dome. Cheaters. Yes, that's what it was. And there's no other reason why we lost that game than domage. We got domed. So. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Shut up! It's it's a it's a phrase and or word. We got domaged, and uh, but boom out there. I, let boom me tell you something. In the open dome. Yo, so right right now, there's two cameras in front of our face. So I can't see your eyes right now because I'm looking right at the camera. Look at lean o- lean yeah. over, and look at me. Is boom on something? Let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they don't test him till mid season because he has bulked up. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I like his answer when he had his interview. He's like, you know, I'm becoming a man. I'm growing into my body. I mean, yeah. that's the lie you're supposed to tell. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, not, not for nothing. When you're that lean, because he only gained like 12 pounds. Right, it's gonna show. It's gonna right. show way more than it does. Like you know, yeah. If when I gain 12, I mean, you're not gonna notice. You know it. If I difference. lose 12, don't nobody know. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> you, we we gotta lose 30 before somebody's like, damn, what you doing? Yeah, like I'm just walking. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, yeah, all heavy, like, right? <laughs> I started drinking more water. And yeah, I put down the snacks for a month. You know, yeah. but yeah, him putting on that little bit of weight, you know, that's a good thing, it, man. It especially is, if he it, finds that power stroke. Oh, and and he. Looks Looks so confident and good to play, like coming off that run in the playoffs last year. And Castellanos. Now they need him just to be consistent. Yeah. Like they were talking today, like, could he get back to his almost MVP form? Like, I don't even need that. I, I, all I need is him to be the double machine. That's it. Be a double machine. I don't yes. even need all the dingers. Nope. Like, I mean, nice, we got some, but I mean, if you're just hitting doubles and moving the moving the pad around, moving everybody around, just that'd be an auto all. out. <laughs> Yeah, Give me an automatic out. I'm <laughs> swinging at every low and away breaking ball. Oh yeah, looking like Mike Trout in the World BCS or BCC <laughs> or whatever it is now. I'm so annoyed I can't. Mr. Golf Course track. himself. Woo! 
Woo! He was golfing. Oh, you can't be mad at Trout. He was going up against oh. Otani and Otani is throwing juice. I'm like, what happened to the other three little Asian guys that struck him out in the game? I'm like, <laughs> they weren't six foot five Otanis. They were like little dudes out there striking him out. So Can I tell you my theory about the golf course he's opening? The <sighs> local golf course he's going to open? With Tiger Woods, y'all. Tiger, yeah, Tiger Woods, It's going to be a private course most likely, right? Yeah. Of course. In Vineland. Yes. Which, good luck with that. Well, he needs something to do in October, right? Yeah, you got to have something close to home to do because it ain't the playoffs. Yeah, well, I, also, <laughs> let, let's shout out Vineland. There's a lot of gangs going around out in Vineland. Vineland is not yeah, the, not the, the private prime golf course. course club. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not the prime. Matter of fact, go ahead and make it private and see who shows up there <laughs> to come and check out Tiger Tiger Woods, yo. You know what I mean? I hope My, it's not private, by the way. Hey, look, I hope it's it not be. private, too. And uh, Not yeah, that I golf. I, I tell you what, uh, Leah wants to golf. She wants to be one of them Caddyshack kids. And, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, ride people around and get tipped for handing out clubs or whatever. But uh, you know, he if anyway, Trout, get yourself together. But the Phillies, yeah. we're gonna be all right. Of course, once you know, once Harper's back. Once not even once Harper's back. Once once the we everybody has injuries right now. Uh a lot of guys went down today. Yeah, of course. <laughs> like went down. So starting pitchers went down. Like it so it's everyone. It's across the league. You got to stay healthy. You got to get healthy. And it's opening day. It was against Texas, and we never win there. It's yeah. fine. It is fine. It does stink. It feels like every time as a Philadelphia fan, every time you're like, man, I'm excited for today. And you're like, what happened? Like, it sucked. <laughs> yeah, it it, it, it it happens. Yeah, that's good. You should be used to it by now. I'm not. I mean, look, look at, look at, look at the swing. swing. Look at the swing. The Beautiful. Out toward the ah. wall. It is gone. Oh yeah! Oh it's look at it. Never if he if it's crazy. Yeah. Boom! 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 That was I, new last year, right? Yeah, you got yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that in the post. Yeah, I, I like, I like well, the, you know. <laughs> I like, I'm about to get me one. You're going to see me in a couple episodes flossing. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, I'm going to get that bone thing around my neck. Uh, even even the, even the bearded one with the wet hair. If I wore my shirt open like that, this show wouldn't be PG-13 anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll be cussing too much for it to be PG-13. <laughs> yeah, like, is that cleavage? What's going on? <laughs> so they're talking about, look at this beard Gosh. flapping in the wind. It it is good just to watch uh, baseball. Was, and baseball oh, was, was fun to watch was today. That, was, it, was that that uh, Turner up there? That that cut that too early. Let me cut the audio. Was Turner coming up? And uh, just uh, I I said it, you know, because I called radio today. The one thing in the last three years, I will tell you, um, I have watched opening day like a kid, and it's literally just to see Mister Cool. Look at look at that. He's so fast. Out of the screen. Boom, call. Right. Yeah, he's just, he's, look at the camera. Oh, I don't know where to go. Look, 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 I don't know where to go. Yeah. Oh, wait, where's he at? He's oh, still geez. going. He's coming oh, this way. He's coming to third. <laughs> I don't know. Where's he at? Oh, he's so he's never smooth. never seen back-to-back -back triples either. No. So smooth. So good. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, oh, I was saying about opening day, I just am. It's fun. It, it not not fun. I'm in love with Bryce Harper. The last like <laughs> since he's been here, opening day has been so amazing to me. And I feel like a five year old watching him out there with his new kind of fanatic cleats every year. Every year. He's got the gloves on. He's got a different bandana. Like he's just so stylish and cool and sexy. I love MV3, and it sucks for me because I don't have him this opening day to enjoy. But I do have Turner. And that makes me feel a little bit better. It has um, to. By the way, Bryce Harper and Nick Sirianni, the pointing Spider-Man of pandering to Philly fans? No! Yes! No! Yes! No! I love it! No! Do give me more! No! <laughs> Nick! Uh, <laughs> give me more! <laughs> Nick Sirianni is Fugazi. <gasps> he cried at the Super Bowl. How he, dare you? He cried because That's of my the, coach. He cried because of a <laughs> guitar singing ma man <laughs> playing the Star Stangle American Banner song. That he cried because he's a good old boy and he saw American Banner. It was his damn tears that made the field so wet. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> he is a coach. He might not be here in four years. Bryce Harper is going into the Hall of Fame as a Philly. He is Philadelphia. He lives here. He's raising his kids here for life. For life. Yeah, you know I mean, except when they go home to Vegas in the summertime. But for life, <laughs> they go to church here. He is Philadelphia. He is Philadelphia. And 
I, it's just different for me. I, I, no, I know, I know I Nick. Oh, I know you are, but just, I got to set it straight. You can't just come okay. in here. You got me. But with my man Pander. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, t- I'm trying to tell you how much I love Bryson. You're messing with me. You're messing with me trying to trying to slander his Pander. Then shut your mouth. Look, man, I didn't switch into this Philly shirt for this podcast for no reason. All right? Let's just go. <laughs> right. Right. That's Let's right. Go. That's right. So I'm just saying I miss you, Bryce. I know you ain't listening. I know. Just get an apartment. I know you ain't listening, Bryce. I miss you, Bryce. That's all I'm trying to say. So uh, I, I miss the swag bag and uh maybe 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 he'll hook turner up with some gear to take care of us on opening day somebody can zoom in on some shoes i can get my fanatic <laughs> love i mean i'm just i'm just a big kid when it comes to that stuff no i do it's but, the best though um and it's just great because it wasn't our home opener right. if this one had been at home we got our teeth kicked in like this yeah. imagine how people will be freaking out yeah. having a fun baseball team makes the summer better oh it just it, does it does it does it makes and, the whole summer better and, well, we'll go to more games yeah you know what I mean? Like you'll you'll watch more. The kids will want to watch more. That's what I'm trying uh, to do now is get the kids to uh, sit down and watch for a little bit. I'm like, yeah, I don't need you to get all nine yeah. innings, but you know. Yeah, Leah Leah loves going to the games. When I yeah. take her to the game, she's all in. But normally she's like, well, we're not that great, so she doesn't pay attention. Last yeah. year, she's all in. She was every playoff game. Like we're still on the like we were there, we were rocking. I think the faster and, uh, games is going to help the kids watch it too. It definitely is. The game the game goes by so fast. I was laughing now. today. You know, when you're watching baseball, you're scrolling the phone, you're doing all that stuff. Yeah. And like I'm scrolling, like, oh shit, there's like I missed it at bat. That never yeah. that never happened yeah. last year. Yeah. Like, so I, I went out to the high hopes right. opening day party thing, whatever, and the bar had um the Spanish sound on. Yeah. And half the bar missed the first at bat because it was in spanish and you didn't hear what was going on we're like hold on can we get this in english the top of the uh first inning was over in four minutes yeah because i was you know i was interested today i'm like how quick is this gonna go yeah and uh, it it's just great It's good though it's so much better it's great number one for for one reason one you're not in a game for forever five hours but (laughs) but i can also get into another game quick right because normally, if you're sucked into our team, mm-hmm. I don't get to watch other games. Right. Like, I don't ever watch the West Coast games because I'm not staying up till 3 a.m. to watch the finish of a game. <laughs> exactly. It's yeah. hard for me to watch NBA games like that. And yes. You know, I don't go to bed. I I, I'm up till 3 in the morning. And it's still a problem because my brain kind of clicks out for caring after, like, 11, 30, 12 o'clock. Like, last night during the Sixers-Mavs game, I fell asleep in the fourth quarter for a couple minutes. Uh, on the couch, just snooze a palooza, oh, and, oh, and I did right. text you. And I woke did, up, and you're like, oh, shit, I hey. I did text you. I was watching. So, uh, but, you know, I missed the comeback a little bit. <laughs> so uh, prediction on the year for how many games we're going to win. I know we just watched one game, yeah. so we're uh, kind of cheating. Pros there yeah, yeah we already can scratch that one We're good, we're good. All right, so I have, I'm going to say 89. 89. I was going to have 90, but they lost today. So they lost, there you go. No, I'm just kidding. 89 probably seems like a good number to me. I hope yeah. they can get to 90, but. I got us at. Uh, their division's tough. I, their division's tough. I got us at 93. Okay, hey, I'll be happy with that. Uh, because we had 88 last year, mm-hmm. and we had a month of dealing with Jabardi. Yeah, so uh, if Harper was back, I would definitely bump that number up if he was there the whole time. So I'm more worried about the pitching of than I am have to be. the Harper. Harper not being here right now isn't even really an issue. Yeah. I, I, I Okay, I to me, I feel like Harper is an issue because we added Turner, and yes, we lost. Sure. We lost Hoskins also. Yes, we lost Hoskins, but I tell you what, this could be the open a month where Hoskins is ice cold, and it wouldn't yeah, matter. That's anyway. the thing with Hoskins is you never so know. So right? you never know. So it could be I could be waiting two months for yeah. him to get hot anyway. So I feel like these other guys are going to be consistent enough, and I feel like Bohm is going to do his thing. And again, if Castellanos just does the basics that we yep. need, we're not going to miss Hoskins. And I hate to say that, I know, but but I also say. We're looking for the youth movement anyway. We weren't going to resign him. Right. Yeah. The <laughs> ownership management said that they weren't going to bring him back. So what? I love you. Thank you for your service. Your wife is a gem and a, and a cherished being so yeah, always. Is, you know, but no they negatives. were going to let you go anyway. So now at least I get to see what we were going to do or be without him Yeah. And, and move forward with that. And it gives everybody else more of a chance to get in a rhythm and get going before Bryce gets back. So as much as I, I hear what you're saying, I feel like we have enough bats to carry us. It's more about the pitching Fair. and the injuries in that respect. Uh, I feel like the icing on the cake is going to be when he gets back. So I, I got to say 93 wins because I'm hopeful and it's open a day. And, and you know what I mean? I'm still, I still got a little chubby because we had our home game yet. So I'm still excited. You saw the one stat that came out after the game, right? What game? The last time they let up 11 runs on opening day. What? 
oh eight when they won the World Series. There you go. So I lost the omens, <laughs> right? Da, da, da. <laughs> that's why we did it on purpose. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Last time they won the World Series, how many games did they win that year? Ninety three. Ninety three. You know what I'm saying? I mean, wait, let's get all these little knickknack patty okay. backs. Somebody in Philly needs to win a damn championship. Oh my God! And <laughs> and secondly, before we start on other yeah, stuff, please. Um, I can't do it again. This is a, my so everybody mad at Nola. Like, oh, that's silly. Come on, he's a workhorse. Yeah, he, you know what I mean? Like, and <clears throat> just to reiterate on what Hoskins, they weren't going to resign him, but they're uh, Nola not getting his contract should to me. I like players not having their contract done until the end of the year. I want them to be hungry. I want the Miles Sanders effect. Where I'd be like, we can't let Miles Sanders go. Like, I'm like, did you not I, see the other yeah. three years before <laughs> right. the contract year? Like, that was weird, thank right? you for your service. Yeah. But did you see what happened in the Super Bowl? That's the Miles Sanders I'm used to. Dumb mistakes, being scared, and fumbling the ball. And so getting banged up. Uh, yeah. So no thank you. But Nola, yeah, go ahead, earn this money, get get a bigger check, bet on yourself, do whatever you got to do, because that's what it is. He wants a little bit more money. Yeah. And they're like, look, we're going to give you this. He's like, I want a little bit more. Let me go out here and ball. Then you're going to have to give it to me. It is funny how all of us as fans pick a guy that you're like, oh, my God, every time you lose, you're like, I know Nola sucks. Like, if <laughs> Wheeler was to lose, you'd be like, hey, man, it's just Wheeler. He'll be all right. Yeah, no worries. It, no it, worries. It, but Nola's now just the guy because he's been here so long. You're like, oh, you know what? He yeah, sucks. Yeah. And when it, he doesn't. And, it, and it's, He's not an ace, but he doesn't suck. Yeah. And it, it's just funny. It's just funny. And we can't help ourselves. No, no, no. Every no, little no, thing he it, does, you're like, oh, it, God, it, I hate that it, guy. It, it, it's fine. It's like Fletcher fine. Cox it's is fine. that guy for the Eagles now that people hate, <sighs> which is weird. I like it's I, weird. I hate Fletcher Cox because he wore that blouse. I'm never letting it go. I'm going to bring it up every time. You wore a blouse to the Super Bowl. You embarrassed your Game name blouse. and your family's sake. Yes, you embarrassed me. You wore a purple lavender blouse and then you lost. And guess what? It was lilac. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm never letting that. But go. no, but he's the guy this year that everyone is like down on, you know, and everything. It's just... I just didn't want him to get ten million dollars if he got seven because he only plays forty two snaps, and if he has to play more snaps, he's not going to be productive at all. And that's the whole thing. And why are we talking about that? We ain't talking about football yet. But bro, yes, I was blouses, talking about whipping boys in the city blouses, that people just get mad yeah, about oh, for no yeah. reason. Well, who's the whipping boy? In the, clap your hands. Tobias. Thank you. There, <laughs> you. Right there is there is a whipping but his, boy. He needs to be though. Hey. That's, <laughs> right. yeah, hey, I mean, hey, that's hey. A... Uh, so again, ninety three wins for me, eighty nine wins for you. Opening day, shut your mouth, don't freak out. All right, it's all good. Nola is Nola. We are still in it to win it. Don't you worry. Take a darkness retreat and about relax. a thing. So, <laughs> uh, Joel and Bead came back to play. Man, I'm so glad that injury was so quick. I mean, watch this block. <laughs> this block was, oh, that block was filthy. The play before that was Shippy. filthy too. He closed out on a three pointer. Yeah. He just doing back to back thing. plays. Do your thing, twenty one. Do Yo, your I thing. I love watching Luca, and I hate watching Luca. So does that make sense? Luca Doncic okay. is the white Joel Embiid. <laughs> <laughs> Luca Doncic, <laughs> maybe that's why I feel like is <laughs> the white Joel Embiid, and I'll right. tell you exactly why. Body language. Yes. When they're balling and cooking you, Luca looks like a mafia king yes. that just walked in your fa- and house and set your house on fire and is watching you burn in a bed that you won't stand up out because right. you're afraid of him. He just is such a gangster and a thug and, and the there celebrations, one, all that uh, stuff. But when they're losing, he pouts and he mopes and he puts yeah. his, sh- his shoulders go down last night? and he jogs back. Yeah. There was a play in the fourth quarter. I think Bullock forced a three. That's what I think it was. But either way, it doesn't matter. He was over in the corner, and the second they started going back on the court, he was just like unbelievable. Yeah, and just moped his ass down the yeah. court. They wouldn't, they wouldn't get him the ball, right? And he, and he was upset. And again, it's like their body language; they're both the same. He, right. he, he just and they don't realize how much it matters. That's a nice outfit, by the way. It's it's clean. Like, it's clean. No, I hey, can't hate on if that. I had a, if I had one hundred thirty five million dollars, yeah, I would look nice better too. too. I I get a, I get lipo. I get these boobies fixed, man. Give me one hundred thirty five million dollars. I'll be looking smooth in a mammy jammy. Trust you, me. But yes, I can never wear a shirt with that yes, stripe Toby, on it right look now. Clean. <laughs> uh, they got they finally after thirty five years got to upgrade the locker room, <laughs> and boy, they all cheese and boy, they excited. They are excited. Uh, but yes, the body language, yes. Luca and Joel are the exact same person. That's fair. And at the end of the game, I love uh, uh, Embiid, Bacru- Embiid and Luca, and saw Luca <laughs> having a little conversation. Look like LeBron James uh-huh. after every game he play. Like you be put your shirt up and yeah. your hand up a little bit. Be like, hey, you know, if we get rid of Toby, we go have that max slot. Yeah, you know I mean, you come through. 
it's going to be like Kobe and Shaq light. You know what I'm saying? First thing out of the way, I'm like, yo, Harden told me about Kyrie. Like, what's up with that? Guy? Yo, Kyrie. Guy? Oh, okay. So <laughs> since you brought it up, um, Ky- Kyrie is fine. Yeah, he is. The, he's so good too, by the way. He's it's so, so annoying. good. It's so annoying. He's so good. And so the late the latest thing is everybody's getting mad about players. I I, I want to make a solo video about this because it just irks me so much. All right, see you. Bye. Players, <laughs> players, <laughs> the players are so soft. They're kicking out fans, and the fans can't no, hear them. Yeah, that's wrong, bro. You're that's drunk wrong in the first row. Be you're, an asshole. You're privileged because you think you spent three thousand right. dollars, <laughs> and you're drunk, and you start saying, "I've been at games. I've heard n words. I've heard monkeys. I've heard your daughters." I hope your daughter dies. Like I've heard all the things. You know what I mean? Why would? And, I, like, and so as a player, they've the been air. they put up with so much shit for so long. Yeah, no, no. You know, once LeBron broke the seal of like, yo, get him out. Everybody's like, yo, I'm I'm tired of it too. Westbrook out there dealing with it in in, in Utah well, and Utah's all the, the people and and Boston's worst. Boston's the worst. And yep. even Boston, even the players say how aggressive everyone is when they lose and they go out and they're with their Jay family. Brown doesn't like and it there. No, nobody does. It's <laughs> not white. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, it's just not okay. So yes, these, these players have a right to kick you out just because you're drunk and entitled right. doesn't mean you get to say whatever you get to say. And when Kyrie went back to the guys, like say it again to my face. And the guy was like, He's like, all right, then apologize. And he right. made the guy apologize, and he let the guy stay. He's that's like, soft. all right, you can stay. Yeah. You apologize. Cool. That's just, not soft. Just, that's just, handling business. That's handling business. That, being soft is just taking it over and over and over again. I thought after like, the Artest thing, people would have realized. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it. Tyrese Max is so good. He is so good. He's not untouchable if we need to go get Luca though, but he's so yeah. good. Enjoy <laughs> Dallas, right? <laughs> the Texas like, Rangers always yep, win on yep, opening yep, day. Yep, yep. It, it cracked me up because everybody's like, <laughs> everybody's like, oh my God, you know, uh, Joel and B's going to go to Dallas. No, he's not. Right. He's going to, he's, if anything, Luca's like, I got to get out of the West. Yeah. The West is too tough. I got to get out of the West. And Mark Cuban, people don't like Mark Cuban the way people think that Mark Cuban is liked. They've, uh, Dallas has tried. They did the thing whenever you have a star like that and you gamble and try and take risks to get guys, and it just they didn't get the right guys. That they, team is poorly built. They didn't get the right guys, and they're not going to get the right guys no, they because can't. people don't want to go there. No one ever goes to Dallas. No one ever goes to Dallas. And when they do get people to Dallas, they fall off. Yeah. So, it you know, they had Dirk, and that was their one shining moment, and they got their one ring. Dirk was good. Too. And no, Yeah, Dirk was amazing. And <laughs> He's lucky LeBron's legs cramped out. Like, that's all I can say about that. The weather got him, and, you know, it is what it is. But Luka needs to come out here. Luka needs to come to Philly. I'm, I'm about to start. I'm about to get a, a, a Sixers jersey, put Luka on the back <laughs> with a 77. I'm going to start rocking that junk. For it. Oh, yeah. I'm back here for that. Uh, one back statement. Yeah. I want a Middleton jersey. Find out. Your job is to find out what his favorite number is. I'm getting me a custom-made Middleton jersey. My dude out here spending money, and I appreciate him. <laughs> I want to start repping my guy Just get here. a dollar sign. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> true. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Middleton. Dollars. That's hey, look. I, if, if I, I'm too big, I can't fit a jersey. I'm getting a T-shirt that says Middleton with a dollar sign on the back. That's what I'm gonna do. There you go. Uh, Any Uzi, <laughs> uh, Joel Embiid, is he the MVP? Is he the MVP? He would have been the MVP if he played that game. Unfortunately, he See, should be the MVP. But the perception and the narrative is gonna flip on him now. So I think so, that one may have cost him. So unfortunately, it's embarrassing if one game cost him because it's that close of a race, though. It it is, but oh my God, it's actually crazy. That Joker Giannis is not gets no talk about it either. And and well, Giannis missed too many games this year, so yeah. I give a fuck about Giannis. Giannis is out. <laughs> Everybody keeps doing that thing where like they put up the stats. He's got more points, more yeah. points, more. I like he's missed fucking almost twice as many games as Joel Embiid. I know. So yes, his stats are. Jokic's pe- about to average a triple double too as a center. Uh, shut up. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Get out of the house. Get out of my house. I don't want to hear any facts. I don't want to hear any facts from you. Embiid's the MVP. Joe Embiid is the MVP of the league. Shut and your mouth. It's, it's because, what did your perker say? It's because he's white and his name's Jokic. It's because he's from another country. Oh, wait. Embiid's from another country. Yeah, like, oh, wait, be- what? I'm tired of. Keep Jokic's name I'm, out your fucking mouth. I'm tired <laughs> of Jokic getting the MVP. I agree. Riding around in some Slavic nation 
on a horse with his brother with a broom and some straw in his face. Hey, his brothers I'm, are scary. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm t- <laughs> they can't find me. I'm in a black site. They don't know where I live. I'm in these streets. They when they gonna come to Philly, like yo, you know where Black Red is? Good luck finding me out here. Anyway, get the shirt. Him and his <laughs> yeah, get the merch out right now. I'm not wearing it. It's Philly then. But yeah, go get yourself some Black Gritty gear. Uh, so um, professional. Professional. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want. <laughs> This guy to get another MVP no, on he foreign be a soil. MVP, he but. can't even get out of the first round. We're worried about the second round. That what the bubble they went to the uh, Western Conference Finals and Yo, doesn't the bubble feel like a decade ago? <laughs> Man, <laughs> but it's not. It's not. And it, <laughs> it, you know, Le- LeBron's out here uh, doing some old Fugazi stuff. We'll, we'll talk about that at the end. Remind <laughs> me to talk about LeBron James and the Lakers. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. Joel Embiid is the MVP. He needs we'll to be see. the MVP. I think that, I'm telling you, I think the perception is going to get him because of that one game, and that sucks. It does. It uh, does. That's what and, made me so mad about it. And he he because he had the chance to dominate that again and put it away. It was over. He he is not dominating in Denver. He is ducking Denver. Not I know. Joker. I don't think he ducked anyone. It's I, just he I, needed to play in that game. He ducked a place. <laughs> he ducked mile high. He ducked an atmosphere. He, he like, ducked thin as hell up here. Yes, he <laughs> ducked thin air. He ducked not being conditioned enough. That's what he ducked. He yeah. ducked not wanting to get an uh, injury more injured because of the thin air and the atmosphere. That's what he ducked. He ducked Denver. Not uh, If they had to play in some neutral site, in, in Zimbabwe, he would have showed up and put 40 on him. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what my but favorite part of that whole day was? He does not go to was? Denver. Since 2019, he won't play in Denver. Denver. My favorite part of that whole day was people were like, you got to trust the medical staff. Like, the Sixers medical staff? I have to trust them? I don't trust no. any, I don't trust any <laughs> Philadelphia medical staff to not tell me anything. I don't trust anybody in Philadelphia. Yeah. They're all the same people. <laughs> I don't trust any of them. You, 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 whatever you want to say, I don't trust any of them. Bryce Harper is coming back in June. Now he might be early. Man. I don't trust nobody. I don't want to hear nothing. The <laughs> Eagles, uh, his shoulder's not hurt. His shoulder is hurt. Uh, I'm, I'm Spike Eskin. I, I knew for, it was going to be more than two weeks ago, but I didn't report on it. What, what are you? <laughs> Spike, or not Spike, Howard? Howard, like, Howard, what's going on right I'm now? upset because Howard is talking to him. <laughs> Howard Eskin, Howard Eskin, I, you know, I knew for two, it was going to be more than two weeks. Then report it, bro. You're a reporter. Why yeah. are you hoarding information to come out four weeks later and say, I knew it. Yeah, I knew the Eagles were going to lose the Super Bowl. Yeah, I I'm like saying it right now. Stuff. Everyone, like once every four years, I get to report something on Twitter and I'm the first one. And people are like, you're lying. Like, oh, I don't yeah. lie about yeah, that. Yeah, I don't you, do that. You had the Cox report early. Oh, yeah, we did. Yes, yeah, that's right. Yeah, first one. I had the Cox report. I'm like, How do you know? You're out here giving false information. You don't know anything. I'm like, and then four hours later, I bet yeah. you now you're repeating what I said. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, and people on the radio were like, tell me who your sources are. Like, no. Yeah, that's. That's not how that works. That. That's <laughs> not how that works. Pass. When they, when other people come on the radio, you're right. you're anyway. Yeah, that, was, that definitely happened. Yeah, yeah. I'm, Cross I'm, and Broad ran the story I, don't credit us. That was funny. Yeah, exactly. I'm I'm rambling. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't. You know me. I don't <laughs> yeah. forget nothing. I got all the notes. But I, I do remember people receipts. on Twitter were like, "You're lying. You're making stuff up." Like, why yeah. would I do that? Yeah. It's, do that. It's, it's not my jam, bro. Yeah. Like, it's not my jam. We we you know we're just a little piece of the internet over here. Don't we do I just best? Have bad opinions. I don't make yeah. shit up. Like, <laughs> We're just like everybody else. Yes, <laughs> it's like everybody else. Everybody's got shit opinions and hit gold every once in a while. Every right. once in a while, somebody feels good when you gold. hit them, doesn't it? You're oh, like, it feels so good. You're like I try to tell you, but <laughs> Joel Embiid is MVP. My That's problem okay. is, I have to hear Harden talk about his Achilles. Mm-hmm. I have to hear Joel Embiid talk about his calf. I wanted them bubble wrapped a month ago. If they would have just sat them for the last month of the season and became the sixth seed, I wouldn't have gave a shit. No, neither of them can stay in shape for that uh, long. Uh, they would come back looking like me and you on the court. Hey, look, have them, have, <laughs> them, have them sit and have them jogging. I don't give a fuck. Just don't have them flopping on the ground or something. Because now Harden's hurt. They're both so, always hurting. So, so when Harden has his four point game, he only I takes know. two shots. He gets to say, "My Achilles, don't <laughs> rip me." And Joel's gonna be like, "My calf seized up and it." <laughs> I tried when I when I went for the dunk on the other side after I hit the two threes and we lost by four. My calf rose. So remember when his tummy hurt versus Toronto? Oh <laughs> that one's the most annoying one of them all. Uh-huh. That was early too. Uh, I I always call that game Kawhi cry, Kawhi cry. Yeah. So yeah, uh, anyway. I, the playoffs are coming. They gotta get out of the second round. They got to the conference, but they're not gonna do it. Jason, do you know why? Rivers. Rivers? Rivers. And Tobias. 
No. <laughs> to, to, oh, oh, shout out to you, Toby. I know I rip you all the dang on time. But when you was on Luca last night, you gave Luca the business. He did. He Luca, Luca went him. Luca went like one for six, oh for three on threes. He's just start calling himself the Luca yo, stopper. Yo, yeah, that's so we can right. trade him next year. Yeah. We'll go to the West. <laughs> right? <laughs> the Luca stopper. Yo. They, <laughs> They call me Toby Luca out I here. Lock up Luca. That's, that's right. That's it. That's it. Lock up hey, Luca. Hey, I, I'm 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 a Toby Doncic. I'm his daddy <laughs> at this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> but he did lock him down. He shut him down. It was good. But um, they had to play the Celtics. They're in the wrong spot. And the Celtics just get them. They can beat Milwaukee. I believe they can yeah. beat Milwaukee. The Celtics have too many wings, and the Sixers can't and it, that. And, and then they never can, never and, can. And then when they do want to play defense, do you know what happens? Al Horford hits fucking six threes in the corner by himself. <laughs> and then it's a sister, right? That always starts <laughs> oh, tweeting too, talking about that shit. His sister is trash. <laughs> Hate that bitch. His <laughs> sister is trash. Yeah. I don't like talking about women, but she is trash. She always starts talking shit. His sister is trash. Okay, so um, we're everywhere yeah, today. We're screwed because uh, we haven't done they a show are, in a while. I know. They are definitely. definitely and definitely. next time we do a show, you're taking notes, and we're going off the notes in the list. Get yourself together. I'm tired of your bullshit. Focus. <laughs> Are we yeah. an outline? Yeah, I yes. yes. I I love <laughs> blaming everything on other people. I I'll am the that. CJGJ of podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, you took let, less let's money. Ra- hey, hey, <laughs> shut up! I, I ain't getting paid for this. You getting paid for this? <laughs> I'm taking zero dollars. Yeah. I definitely fumbled the bag. Hey, on my this agent one. tweeted out like, "Yeah, but he could have did it for less." <laughs> like, hey, look, yeah. look, I, I, I'm a, see your agent Kate ain't ain't paying you nothing. She just got. You out here slumming it. I, I'm out here, Lamar Jackson. And I got my daughter, my agent. I ain't. I ain't got no chance of seeing no money. You know what I'm saying? Your agent taking all your money. I ain't got a shot at mine. You know what I'm saying? So uh, these are facts, people. <laughs> these are facts. So, so let's wrap it up. Talk about this, uh, uh, the Eagles and um, the oh, job man. that Howie Roseman is doing. How do you, how do you feel about Howie's season? Uh, he's doing okay so far. I don't make any judgments this early. Last year, by this time, they didn't have A.J. Brown. They didn't have Bradbury. They didn't have Gardner Johnson. So it's way too early to tell. But they've signed a lot of cheap depth lottery ticket guys that hopefully two of them are good. Yeah. And, and that's like, all. And right now you need bodies because yeah. you need depth. And I don't know what's going to happen until the draft. The linebackers they signed, are they're okay. The D linemen seem to be guys that can play. Yeah. Right? Uh, keeping the corners was fine with me. I'm not the biggest fan of older corners but we'll see with the new d coordinator how that all works um i i don't feel like bringing this up because i don't want to accidentally put uh naked women on the internet oh so i'm wait gonna, there's I'm naked women worry. on the internet there might be i'm, oh, not, I'm, I not, not, know I'm not here i'm just saying what i know happens sometimes in the mm-hmm. world um <laughs> <laughs> uh where is that my buddy's like um you don't think if carter's virtually right there they're going to try and flip the spot or two. Although, on the other hand, we don't have that many picks in the to middle get rounds. Jalen Carter to D tackle? Yes, I don't because the Eagles don't take guys with character issues. So, also, otherwise, yes. Also, we don't have enough picks for them to move up. They can because they can make a move thirty down. Like they could do it. They could figure it out. <laughs> I, we, Howie is good at that part. The trade he, part, Howie could do yes, whatever he wants. But, but I, you're right. Yeah, I think he trades down most. But he's not. He's not going to trade down in this one because we don't have enough picks. We get more in this draft. Trade down. I mean, trade up. Yeah, sorry. yeah. That's yeah. so I said. Sorry. I think he's more likely yes. to trade. He's more. Down. He's more likely to trade down because a lot of these quarterbacks right now are being projected now to go in the top eight, top seven, which is good. For which is good for us. So right. I do move. I do believe he'll move back. See, that's my up and downs got me going crazy. Yeah. Not move up. <laughs> He's gonna move back yes. and get more picks. I don't think that this year is the year that he would go and do that. Uh, what do you think about this whole running back first round pick thing? Okay, this isn't an original thought because I've heard multiple people already say it. So normally I would never, ever, ever take a running back in the top ten, right? Yep. Because normally when you pick in the top ten, your team is yep terrible. trash. But when you're coming off the Super Bowl and your team is good, your whole offensive line's built. You got the quarterback. You got all that. If you can add that running back. With that pick, which is an extra pick, I'm doing it this year. Only time only. I was against it until I thought to myself, it's easier to pick a home run running back than yep. is D tackle or offensive lineman. Yep. And which you we always that offense, that yep. offense will be tough. And what happened to us in the Super Bowl? Right. We couldn't run the ball. Correct. Because he can. He can. Right. 
he can. And not only he can, there's two or three he cans. Yes. Like if we didn't get him and we he's get, the best of the he cans. Yes. But yes, the Alabama but, so, kid is good. Yeah. So if okay. we moved uh back and then had to pick up somebody else, yes. there are two or three first round he cans that we right. could get that would come on this team and make us dominant. And, and that's why I, they don't have any running backs right now. That's why the running back room looks the way it does. They're picking a running back at some point. And also uh, uh just from the financial institution of it. Uh, shout out to OG Wade because I'm stealing this and I'm pretending like it's mine even mm-hmm. though I just gave him credit for it uh, because I thought about this too. You get a running back, you're only going to keep him for the five years if you get him in the first round. And then round. he's gone. Right? You get and then he's gone. Right. Now, if you get a D tackle or um, a lineman, and not, again, not that we don't want them, I know. but if they come out in their home runs, you gotta pay well, you're going to pay you're gonna pay him and you're going right. to be broke again, right. which we can get those guys in later rounds and we can get those guys next mm-hmm. year because the line is sufficient enough and we have a great offensive line coach. So, yep. like, I wouldn't draft an offensive lineman in the first round because of how good Stoutland is as a coach. Yes. Yes. I, I'd identify guys in the second and third round. I'm fine Just, if they take a corner. Yep. I'm fine. If they take Robinson at 10 or even if they trade down a couple spots and still end up with him, I'm happy with it. I, I want to. And I would it. never do that. I'm so anti taking a running back in the first round, but this team is in a unique spot with that need and I, a special player there. I just want somebody who can destroy a hole. Yes. Sorry, ladies. And I also want a guy <laughs> that can catch out of the backfield. That's yeah. all. And he can do I, that too. I want a guy that can catch out of the backfield and destroy a hole. And that's what we need. And somebody young, right. somebody young and powerful. And again, I, I love all the little supplementary backs things, yeah. and you have the rotation, and you whatever, whatever. But I want a stud, and I want them for right. free, and I want them cheap for five years so we can do what the Dallas Cowboys do, run them into the ground with the most carries and in the league, say, goodbye. and then say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, yes. and not then mess, put them at center and, and not, get rid of them. And not make the mistake of giving them a $95 million contract. So right. Just like the Titans, like they paid Derrick Henry, and everyone's like, see, you can pay a running back. And now the Titans are in just complete hell because they – Paid a running back. Yeah. Right. And, and now they're looking to trade them and yeah. nobody's really going to take them because yeah. they're like, pay the running. It's too much money for a running yeah. back. And, so, and, yeah. And, and, and luckily for him, he's not washed. No, he's definitely not washed. He's not washed. Right. <laughs> he's, he, my God, he's a specimen. You know, the man. funniest is that's the type of player it happens every year. There's like an older guy and you're like, I don't want him. Don't definitely don't want him. And, and if, if you got him, him, you're like, but oh! I'm saying, but yeah, you're like, but I'm oh! saying, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. King um, Henry. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> King Henry. He he's just like he reminds me of um TO. His physical presence yeah, it's insane. is just jaw dropping. Yeah. Like he's just a man among boys. And uh yeah, if you put him on a thing, my thing, I mean, we can do I mean, you know, yeah. yeah, I'm all for Bijan. Yeah. Yep. Let's do it. So go get go only get, time ever. I want to run it back in the first round. Yep. I want I want it. I want I need it done. Now with their it. second pick, I would trade down again into the second round, get some picks. Then that's when you start adding yeah. safeties. Yeah, and, and cornerback. I want a cornerback because uh I want a cornerback youth. Because they need yeah, they need some corners. Yeah. And I mean they like, signed that one young kid, but he's just that's amazing. Yeah, and somebody's like, Oh, you know, I was like, dude, you know how the NFL works, right? Like we're always gonna be in a nickel, forever in a nickel. Yes, you don't go like you need cornerbacks, like you need safeties. Like, right, like they don't even use a third linebacker. No, not even at that all. third linebacker, no. if they're in that it's a big safety now. Uh big uh big prediction, bold prediction for me. We're gonna have a great linebacker in this year. Yeah, who? Nicobe. You think he's gonna be great? I think he's gonna be. Great. I think he's a playmaker. I think. I, so I think like a guy who intercept balls, he I, I, force fumbles, my, stuff like my, that. My bold prediction for his year is he makes ninety five percent of tackles when he when he touches someone, you're tackled. Right. And I predict four force fumbles and three interceptions. I like it. I said all last year I thought he should play, and everyone's like, "But T.J. Edwards is so good." And like T.J. Edwards is just a guy. T.J. Edwards is a jag. He's a see and tackle guy. Yeah, he's a you get here, I'll tackle you. He doesn't blow plays up though. He doesn't meet you in the hole. He doesn't meet you at your spot. He waits for you to come to him, and he's a sure tackler. Yeah, cool. But he's not a playmaker. He's not a difference maker. No, balls always go over his head. He mistimed every single jump he's ever made. Like I think the Kobe Dean intercepts some of those. Yes, even a little the limited action he got in garbage time. He was everywhere. Everywhere, and and I like the fact that he sat and that he didn't get play, right? Because makes one, hungry. it humbles you, and two, it makes you hungry. And he's gonna come back a and, little bit bigger. He's gonna, oh. you know, he's coming back at least ten hey, pounds hey, heavier. Hey, hey, right. hey, hey, hey! He on that bone regimen, baby. <laughs> he gonna come back bigger, stronger, faster. I believe. The best I believe. Is you get big like that on, you know, then you get tested once, then you come back skinny. You're like, I'm trying hey, to get fast. There you go. You know what I mean? I'm trying to, trying to get lean, Gene. Yes. You know what I mean? Trying to get lean. <laughs> Uh, you said something about LeBron. You want to talk about LeBron James? <laughs> LeBron James. 
I think there's something wrong with LeBron and AD. Oh, I don't. LeBron doesn't trust AD. LeBron doesn't trust AD. And I don't think AD likes LeBron. And AD knows it. Yeah, that's true. It hurts him. It hurts him because, you know, when they came in, LeBron was like, this is my boy. He's in the barbershop. He's doing things. When LeBron won the scoring record, I AD knew something was wrong because he never got up. Right. And I watch a lot of Lakers games. I'm not a Laker fan. I'm a LeBron fan. But I still watch the games. When LeBron has been playing, AD's been happier, and he's been shooting jump shots, and he's been balling. Yeah. Like, why weren't you doing that when James is there? Is it because you, you have a little bit of attitude? You know how it is when you work somebody you don't like? You're just not giving your effort. And basketball, I don't care what you say, it, there's something to that. Playing with guys like that is tough, too. No yeah. matter how good they are, it's still tough when he's only telling you what you're doing wrong and where to go. You're like, all right. It, because <laughs> because Udonis Haslam, even, I just want to clip, Udonis Haslam's like, LeBron is smart, and if you're not smart, he has a problem with you, and you're going to have a problem with him because right. he doesn't like dumb players. Right. So if you're not doing what you're supposed to do or being where you're supposed to be, it, it's rough for you because yeah, in the middle of the game, on you. he's like, they don't call timeouts because I'm running the game. Yeah. He's like, Spo, he's like, yeah, don't. I'm not telling you not to listen to Spo, but we're out here. I'm you the ever one heard the woman Shumpert talking about that when he was on the heat with them? Yeah. When he's like, Shump, corner, now. Yeah. And you're like, uh, yeah. Hold up. He's like, now. Nah. Nah. Yeah. Like, All right. Yeah. Yep. Like, and, I'm going to go. But like. and, and everybody has stories like that. And it, yeah. it, it's funny. Um, oh, my gosh. Let me see if I could find this one clip really fast on the internet. How do I get to my thing? <laughs> What's the internet? So you heard, you said there's naked ladies on there? Yeah. yeah I, somebody <laughs> had told me one time that if you would go on. And you found when you searched <laughs> on accident, and then sure other, it was people, a link by accident. other people say that when you do it, yeah. it happens sometimes. So mm -hmm. I believe that was the case. Right. I'm almost there. That's I don't even know what there. you're looking for. I'm just trying to fill time. I am. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> so hold on. Put this back up. Do it again. Blackgritty.com. Get the shirts. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Get, get, get some merch on you. I mean, get some merch. This is the thing I've been waiting for my whole life. Let's play it. But it was lame as fuck. for four or five years. There was a media run, and there was a hype train of a franchise running through which Truth were the Warriors. Voice. Yeah, <laughs> and that was KD doing that. You know what I mean? There's just certain points where it just seemed unfair. We're not knocking it to each their own, but it was just like you had to wait until this narrative ended in the moment of history. Man, we still don't get no calls though. So when they when they start, I'm not knocking it, up. but at the same time, I'm still playing against Andre Iguodala, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, and whoever else. Like, that's like playing versus MJ, fool. Like, it still don't make no sense. It doesn't justify anything. And y'all won a lot of championship, but it was lame as f Yeah! <laughs> Literally. We, Steph just nah, won by itself. Steph just won by itself. And that's perfectly fine. I'm talking about when you lame ass <laughs> did that for two or three straight years. That was lame as <laughs> the Was that us? Or was Turner. that us following the trends of where the league was going? Had already been. Word to mother, I would never go recruit no KD. I don't give a damn who was. He's lying. Y'all won a lot of championship, but it was Ohio lame State as bum. For four or five years, <laughs> there was a media run. Nah, that's the truth right there. I've been waiting for somebody to say it to one of their faces. What's wrong with this voice? He was like, forget this voice. Shut up. He said what I wanted him to say. That's lame as fuck. What are you doing recruiting KD? Just because you lost to LeBron on, on the Superman train. Y'all, y'all, y'all beat him when it when it when he was in there by himself, and y'all thought y'all was a jam, and then y'all went out and got KD. Do you know yes. what my favorite part? Tell about him that to their face. Was? What? He was like, I would never go out and recruit KD. Like motherfucker, yeah, he you ain't recruiting he, nobody. He, he would exactly, <laughs> but he telling the truth. He would yes, never. Recruit yes, he KD. would never because he's Evan not gonna waste his time. Never. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he would not waste his time. He'd be like, yo, this this is Evan Turner. But who? Hey, 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 look, <laughs> it's Evan. Look. Evan who? <laughs> Turner, bro. You know me. I'm trying to think. I'm on of a, the Blazers. I'm trying to think of a supermodel I couldn't attain, and then I would go out and say, "I'm going." I never try to <laughs> yeah. get her to go out on a date with me. But personally, I probably yeah. get a supermodel I yeah, want. But anyway, <laughs> after what Giselle did the time, I've never dated her. Look, I would never date her. You know yeah, I mean, Giselle called me. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We still, Jeannie. Right? Remember that? Old yeah. school. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> anyway, I'm telling you, <laughs> that's some of the realest shit in the world. And I'm happy they told him to his face. He was like, he's like, we still don't get no calls. Like, Shut up. You know what you did. Like, and it's the funny thing because they do know what they did. They I want to hear Evan Turner interview Mahomes. Uh, <laughs> it would be so weird. Man, I, I tell you what, they better have closed caption on that whole dome because <laughs> nobody will know like, what's what happening right or what's going on. I'm like, is this real people? Is this deep fake? Yeah, what's okay. up? 
We've been going long because we haven't done a show in a while. Whoa, if you're sticking you. around with us, you know what I mean? I, we appreciate you. Uh, subscribe on the iTunes, the Spotify, the YouTube, the anything. Uh, there is uh, Black Gritty merch. I should throw some stuff up on the screen every once in a while when Jason says it. Just to subliminally bleed, get you to go buy something. BlackGritty.com. BlackGritty.com. <laughs> go, go make it happen, Captain. Uh, we're out, and uh, we'll be talking more stuff soon. The playoffs come, and the draft's coming. And uh, I'm going to kick Jason out of that chair and get some special guests in here, try and get our numbers up. So then by the time you come back and think that those special guests are still here, it'll just be us. You know, all your solo and, ones uh, are all super numbers. <laughs> when I'm not here, you get more views. <laughs> but that's it's cool. I get it. <laughs> Yo, you know the crazy well, I'm still talking on doing the show. It cracks me up. Like, so I'll put something on Instagram. It'll get 30 views. I, I put it on TikTok. It's got 20,000. <laughs> I put it on TikTok. It's got 20 views. I put it on Instagram. It's got 30,000. I'm like, can I just get consistent numbers right. anywhere? <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So eventually, when people call in, they can yell at <laughs> yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we would do that in the summertime when everything slowed down. We just got yeah, baseball. We'll just do some calls. I'm your boy Owen J.J. Sonic, Black Gritty, and uh, Jason is at IKMZ Sports. He's That's on right. the internet. Uh, go listen to his hot, cold, lukewarm takes and yell. Punch at him. the air. Yeah, yeah. Punch <laughs> in the air. Yeah, I mean, stupid air. Yep, got, and getting blisters on his nickel, on his knuckles. That's oh, how hard oh, he's oh, on, his, uh, on, his, on his knuckles, 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 knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're out. All right.